In this video, I'm gonna go through Landbot, which is a chatbot no-code solution for you to create chatbots for your audiences, for your potential customers, and even for your customers to help free up your time and give them in sponsors using either AI or pre-framed responses. I'll also leave a special discounted link if you want to try Landbot out for yourself. Just check the description below. Here we are inside Landbot and there's quite a lot to go through so I'm going to just focus on the main USPs because overall whilst you can create a bunch of different chatbots overall the functionality of it all actually works the same way across the board. First we'll just focus on the dashboard. At first glance it can seem a little bit cluttered but if we really look at the specifics we have the quick create options for the chatbots we then have tutorials which I would recommend to check out and then we've got our latest updated chatbot now just to give you an idea of what this will look like if I open up this chatbot that I previously created you can see I've had this full conversation with this chatbot right here and it's giving me answers and pre-framed responses and then we couldn't get to the end result so it's asked me for my contact details and this was created. So if I just show you behind the scenes as well, this is what this actually looks like. And at first glance, it might seem a bit overwhelming, but it's really not. Um, it's just a step-by-step -step process on what you want to happen, what you want to offer your customer, and then what happens when they click on a response or enter some tech. We're going to really quickly build out a bot so you can see just how simple this process is. First, we'll decide what bot we want. I'm going to say I want a bot for the web. We can use the build it for me which uses AI, we can use the start from scratch, or we can use the template. Now the best way to do this and actually show you how to get it all up and running is by doing the start from scratch. This is one of the things I quite like about Landbot is that it's all, would you like us to do it or do you want to do it yourself? Which is a really nice touch. So during each step, Landbot will actually guide you on what to do. So it says here, this is the starting point where your bot begins. And then it's saying click or drag to create a new block. So I will click and now it's giving me all of these different options. You can really customize your bot by asking for specific information or even doing form catchers or anything on those lines. But we'll just start things off really simple by saying, what is your name? So we're just going to say, what is your name? Save it to this variable and do apply. We can just click and hold and drag it all over, kind of like a mind map. And then we can once again, click and we can add some buttons. So the buttons can say, what can I help you with today? And then with each button, we can say billing or product help. We can do create and now we have our third step so ultimately all that we're doing from this point is just getting a series of information so if they say billing we can click on here and at this point we can just add in a form and we can say okay someone will be in touch please enter your, your information and then right here we would add let's say an email and then we can even ask for something more specific like an order number make it required, then we can do apply. And then bit by bit, we just fill out the form and we can collect our customer's details or anything those lines. Now, the only annoying thing with Landbot that I've seen when it comes to this area is that when we click on the form and if we don't fill out all of the information exactly, it doesn't actually save, which means that we need to start that all over again. It should have an auto save option with uh, you know error messages embedded in it. So at least this way if we click off it without realizing which is quite easy to do it's not going to force us to re-add everything all over again it is an issue that I've seen uh, probably one of the bigger issues but in the grand scheme of things not a massive issue it's just a bit of a time waster needing to keep on repeating your steps if you don't do it correctly now once you've created the actual bot you can then test the bot and it's quite nice to have this uh, preview window here because you can also check if it's mobile friendly as well so I'm just going to type in my name do enter it's nice and fast as well which I really like and then we can say billing and then 
you know, it's going to send the form. Um, if we, or if we go back, we can do product help, but there's we've not added anything there. But overall, you can see just how simple and fresh this actually looks, which is really nice. Now, one good thing about Landbot is they do actually let you uh, customize the design. So uh, they've got some pre-made templates right here which instantly make it all nice. I'm actually a simplistic person. I like just like white or really light colors. Uh, I'm gonna go with the white theme because it just looks sleek. Or we could go with the minimal. No, let's let's go with white because it, it just looks good. But you've got all of these pre-made templates. You can one click and it updates everything really fast. Then we can also update all the fonts, pretty simple. We can change the layout. So if we don't want a header, we can just say goodbye to the header. If you don't want the launch icon, we can also get rid of that as well. And we just do apply. You can even go as far as changing the border radius and the color of the actual form. And you, you've got all of these options here. I won't go into too much detail, but it's all very sp responsive. And if uh, we want it, let's just say we'll change the border radius. And you can see just there of, uh, well, actually, right below it right here you can see that it's changing so of what that will look like okay so nice and simple you can customize every single aspect including the avatars um but yeah nice and simple and then if you are a coder you know your own css or your javascript you can add it in right here under the settings area this is where you can get into a bit more conditional logic and you can uh, add your own custom messages you can disable or enable it or even delete the bot if you don't want the branding this is where you can hide it and you can also also show legal consent and all of that stuff like that. They make it really simple to add all of the input text, including dynamic fields, which is nice. And it's good that they've categorized this all in one area. So it's not like we need to search all over the place trying to find where do we put this or where do we put that? Now, what's really interesting is uh, they have a built-in SEO tracking functionality to Landbot as well. Personally, I've never actually seen a chatbot rank and I've not really heard much about this side of things. So it might rank, it might not rank. I'm not sure. I've not tested it uh, to that extreme yet. But I guess it's always better to have SEO and tracking built in. So you can integrate your Google Analytics or if you've got some custom tracking software, you can add it all in this area. Now, if you want to pass dynamic fields over through the URL parameters, this is where you can do it. And you can add all of the variables that you store information in. If you don't really know what I've just said, do not worry about it. But just know that your developer will absolutely love it. Um, very nifty little feature. A lot of other programs don't offer this level of functionality so it's a nice touch to have and just to give you an example of what that actually means if you see this url here you can see that we've got the main url but at the end of it we've actually got an email address now if you're sending this to client what you can do is you can replace that this here or just get rid of this email and say, hey, John. So when they click on the link, it's, the chatbot will open up and it will actually say their name, hey, John. So it just makes your company look really high tech, really cool, bit fancy and uh, super engaging. You can also change the typing animation, how fast it's loading or how fast things happen and stuff like that. So. Uh, again, another little tweak, and it's these little tweaks that really do make the difference. You can embed this straight into your website as either a live chat pop-up with what you usually see at the bottom of the screen, or you can have it as a full page thing, so it takes up the entire screen, so it's kind of like your website in its own right. You can embed it into like an iframe, or you can even have it as a pop-up. But whichever one you choose, you've got the full code that you can copy. And what's really nice is that they've got step-by-step -step instructions that you can follow to do it for any one of these platforms. And all of these are, in fact, some of the main platforms that most people use for their website. Now, you can actually share these as templates and even sell them if you wanted to. You can create a template and send uh, sell to your customers or even create an online store selling chatbots. So they're really creating a lot of opportunity for people, not just for utilizing chatbots but also selling them as well and if you want to export the entire flow you can do so as a png right in this area there's a lot of functionality here and it's it's all 
pretty simplified. Next, you have the analytics of each bot. Now, this doesn't currently have any analytics, but this will show you what's happening on a day by day basis. And if you, you can also set up your own custom goals, which will monitor everything that's going on. So you can make smart decisions based off the data it gives you. It'll even give you as much as flow analytics. So it will tell you how far each prospect is going in the chat bot and where they're dropping off and how they're responding and stuff like that. So you can optimize the bot with the best information to better serve your customers. So that was the basics of the chat bot side of thing. It all works pretty seamlessly. There's only that one hiccup um, that I mentioned previously, but let's just move on to a few other areas. Under the AI assistant area, you can actually give a AI some information and it will build the bot for you. So if we want an FAQ bot for WhatsApp, so we can actually give it some information about our business. So I've just headed over to my brainyautomations.com website and I can just copy and paste all of the perks that my customers get. I can, oh, I can paste it in just like so and then I can do feed the bot. So we've now fed the bot, let's give it a test. So I'm going to ask it a question in the preview area and say, what is quick chat community? We'll do enter and you can see it's actually taken this response here and it's crafted its own little response there. I can then ask it something more specific like, what is the difference between the training live videos and the all courses options? So basically I'm asking it to compare this and this, and here is the response in its own custom way. So you could literally copy and paste your entire front page of your website straight into this, uh, this chat bot, and this will actually create a fully optimized customer ready bot that's trained off your data to start answering all of your customers. Like literally you can start like half of your customer support team just by pasting your website data into your chat bot. Then we can do test this bot, yes. And there you have it. So um, because this is also on WhatsApp, this will all be done over WhatsApp as well. You can even request information and stuff like that. So you just saw how simple that was to set up, which is just a testament to Landbot and its functionality. Now, not only does chatbot allow you to create custom chatbots, but you can actually have live conversations with people using the chatbot there and then. So you could have a chatbot that takes someone through the entire process. And if that chatbot still doesn't help them, you can have an option saying, talk to someone live, and then you will get a notification saying that someone wants to talk to you live and you can jump on and start talking to them directly. And this is exactly what it looks like. Now you can store all of the information that they've already entered right here. You can add new information into it. You can end the conversation. You can assign it to different people in your organization, add private notes, etc. And then when you're done, you can click on the dots and even send that person a transcript. Or if it's like a spam sort of person, you can also block them. This is the exact same in the WhatsApp area. You can talk directly to people. You can mass send texts and stuff like that. Really, really useful. The last thing I wanted to touch base on was the integration area. Now you can take payments and do all sorts of things. You can add your own custom goals. But the most important thing is that you can actually connect Zapier. So if they don't have something here for you, you can connect your Zapier account and connect it to basically anything. So if you're an e-com store or something those lines and a customer has purchased something, you've assigned them an order ID number, you can then connect that to Zapier, which will then connect to the database that holds all of those order numbers. And you can actually have this chat bot and that database talking to each other through Zapier. So you can actually get people's information all using this chat bot. So it really becomes an automated service, or at the very least, you can use it to do as much fact finding as possible and even qualify the customer by getting their order ID number before they even reach out to you. Overall, what do I think of Landbot? I think it's a fantastic tool that makes chatbots, which is something that can be quite complicated, pretty simple just by dragging and dropping and clicking a few buttons. Would I recommend them? Yes, I would. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.